I want you to um, make sure, and I mean this, and in our household, I freaking mean it. I say it on camera, off camera. That is how I was raised, and I'm very serious about it. I want him to always be able to keep God in his heart. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love, and I'm back with another mukbang edition. And today I have my son. Hello. Say hi, Sean. Hello. Okay, Sean is 17 and he is going along for the challenge with me. Now we are here because we are celebrating Tim's Table 9K celebration. Why did I say that again? We are celebrating Tim's Table 9K mm. celebration. Congratulations, Tim's. Do it like a show me, baby. So of course you know when Tim's do a challenge, it gotta be something. So B Loves Life came up with this challenge, uh, no utensils challenge. Now I'm pretty glad that Tam's relaunched it because I wasn't doing mukbangs, but I I watched. Period. Now the point of this is to have sides and food that you would normally eat with a spoon, and to not use any utensils. I'm not, I'm not really being honest. <laughs> <laughs> so my son is not the type of person he doesn't like to get dirty with his hands and food and stuff like that so this is gonna be pretty much for him so today we have some good old-fashioned pig feet yes we do mm -hmm. oh i forgot the hot sauce oh sorry. yeah that, it's nothing about the hot sauce let me finish and i'm gonna tell y'all i'm gonna go get the hot sauce we have some spinach here and we have some over the top uh over the stove top macaroni and cheese okay so i'll be back i'm gonna go get the hot sauce all right guys i'm back with my favorite hot sauce ever, it's the Red Devil hot sauce. Red Devil, I don't know what you're doing about branding. I don't know if you want to do something different because it's kind of the same old thing. Your girl's right here and I use you all the time. All right, so I also got a seltzer water and we both have coldest water bottle. If you guys want a discount on any of your coldest water products, just follow the, the link in my description box. Simple mm -hmm. as that. And for those of you who are new here, hello. And to all my motivators that I know all the time that I see come through, I'm super excited to have you back. Um, I do want to say again, to congratulations to Tam. She deserves it. She's very consistent, good content. And um, she's also a great uh, supporter. She's always on all my videos and I really appreciate that, Tam. I know that's right. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the challenge. So I got my hot sauce. I'm not excited for this. You're not excited? I mean, I'm excited, but it, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't do this. I mean, who? Right? <laughs> I don't eat a lot with my hands on the channel, though. Like my yeah. vegetables, I find myself just eating them with my hands. <laughs> okay. No, I like forks. So, I'm. What you gonna go in first with? I really want the pig feet. Yeah, smells gonna, so I'm good. Going, <laughs> the pig feet smell good. I'm going with the pig feet. And you just we have napkins next to us now. You can't use a napkin. If you use a napkin, you can't eat no more. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's mm. so good. Yeah, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Some people eat them whole. I like my pig feet cut up. Hey, I got some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, because if it's whole, it looks... Like a foot? She's got a point. I don't want to think about the fact <laughs> that it's a foot. Like, <laughs> it looks weird. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That's good, you know, to me, you gotta be really in the mood for pig feet, mm. you know? This is straight savage. I don't even think about the fact that we're eating spinach with our hands. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Mm -hmm. oh, this is really good. Mm -hmm. I don't mm. usually like spinach, but this is really good. Let me show you her secret. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. So we're gonna be talking about a few things. We just wanna get some bites in. Oh my God. I ain't scared to use my hands. Look, I feel like offering y'all like the food with my hands is just so bad, but mm. that one stuff. <laughs> I promise I I'm good. I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I put the napkins next to us just so it feel like, cause you're gonna reach for it. Over here, at Ray Love, one thing y'all will notice is I always forget. 
My neck kid. <laughs> I didn't notice that when you first started. <laughs> I did, and then I just made it into a thing since I already do work yeah. to get them. I'm hungry, so I'm going crazy right now. I know, Sean has um, not been feeling well for like a month and a half. It's been a long process for my baby, yo. He has not been feeling good, so. He's finally feeling better. I know it's not to see where I keep saying that, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> but I really, um, oh. Yo, the cat just, I'm not gonna edit that out. The cat no. just tried to jump up here for some pig feet. If, you know what? But it was the baby. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he wasn't feeling well for like a month and a half. So it's been back and forth at the hospital. Back and forth doctor visits, my poor baby ER, and now he is feeling better, and he's so happy because he's able to eat. Mhm. Mm That's the biggest thing. Yeah. I need soup for like a week. Mhm. Mm <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was a lot of soup, poor thing. Mm. Okay, this is so weird. <laughs> I can't get over this. She said. She wants everybody to be messy for her, so be messy for her night, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be messy. Like, eat messy food, basically. Because mm -hmm. it is like, wow. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. All right, so we do have a few things we want to discuss. First thing first, one of the first things I want to discuss, right, you know what it is? <laughs> it's Kanye West. <laughs> Kanye West haircut. I'm gonna insert that. Probably in between us. Probably right here. Kanye West haircut, guys. Listen, don't come for me. I'm a Kanye West fan. I like his music. You hear the ghetto ness? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? <laughs> I was so confused with what he was talking about. But Every time I, I hear the film, it's like a damn party outside. We're from Brooklyn, New York. It's like a party <laughs> no, outside. Yeah, <laughs> There's always something. Every time. It's, and it's this one guy <laughs> with a scooter. If you're watching guy with scooter on my block, <laughs> you keep coming back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> I know. Actually, he's watching. I know back and forth. You know what I'm talking about with the braids? <laughs> Back and forth, back and forth, and then you mm -hmm. got the nerve to park the big ass scooter. It's a big ass scooter in the mm -hmm. middle of the block. Just you stay with the three wheeler thing. Yeah, yeah. whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. He always has a chain on. He gets Ooh. on my nerve, and every time I'm filming, round back, round back, and I'm like, I know exactly who's doing that. Anyway, we talk about Kanye West, not the guy. That's poor. I hope that guy ain't watching. I'm sure he ain't watching, but that's pretty funny if he is. Like, ma'am, you was talking about me the other day in your video. <laughs> We're talking about, they better not give me copyright with that music. We're talking about Kanye West and his haircut. Now, I already showed y'all the haircut. Oh, that's good. A little while ago. What? Comment down below what you think about that. Oh, Lord, I'm also going to put in this clip of this guy. I don't know who the heck he was, but... Chris Brown shared it. He had me in tears. Like, he called him so many names. Damn, Kanye. This is what Drake album sales did to you, nigga. Boy, it look like a push line more head sex with your head. Boy, it look like some clippers beat the fuck out of you. Nigga, he look like an unsuccessful cornfield. Nigga got a pirate map on his head. Nigga look like a dynamite test dummy. Nigga got a Stevie Wonder buzz cut. Nigga got a continental map head. My mama used to call this a stay at home haircut. Boy, got a Brill Brazilian wax on his head. Nigga head look like somebody was burning it with a magnifying glass in the sun. Threw up head. Boy, got a haircut like Jason. The head look like a coyote orgy palace. Forest fire head having this. Mint lollipop head having this. Partly cloudy head having this. It's like just listing them off <laughs> one by one. Kanye. He was talking about Kanye, mm -hmm. but it was some random guy. Um, and Chris Brown shared it. Yeah, because Chris Brown's mad because of the whole Donda thing. He took him off Donda, so now he's tight. He took Chris Brown off Donda? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like Chris Brown. 
I don't know why, but he took a lot of people off. He updated it. I don't know if you noticed. Updated it now? Mm -hmm. You know the song Keep My Spirit Alive? Yeah. He took the person. Remember how it was like this really high pitch uh -huh. male that was singing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's a um now it's Kanye. Yeah, but the original is way better. When I listen, that's one of my favorite songs. I listen to it, I listen to the original. But the original isn't on Spotify. He just completely updated the whole album. No. Let me back to that. My son's 17, so he would know. Is Kanye West, like, popular with yeah. young kids? Yeah. He's very popular. Like, I mean, like... Mm. This is so weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, is I'm he, talking like... Is yeah. he popular with... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> is he though? He is? Mm -hmm. Cause mommy, I've been listening to him forever. I know, but people, um. And he's around my true. age. Like, I'm 38. So, what, Kanye West is like 40 something? It's like, um. How do I explain it? You know how there's the, there's the older people, you don't necessarily listen to them, but you have respect for him, for them, you know what I mean? Like Jay? But, yeah, exactly. People, but kids my age don't listen to Jay-Z, but they, they respect them. But kids my age respect and still listen to Kanye. Like, mm. people, there'll be people blasting Kanye in school. Mm. That's good, because so my favorite. He's not going anywhere. That's why he still sells the way he does. Like, Donda sold 400K, which is weird for an OG. Like, mm -hmm. Nas dropped the album, nobody you know. I, I didn't know. know. I didn't. I didn't know until the other day. I didn't listen to it, but I knew. <laughs> this is so good. This is a good mix too. And yeah, I ain't got no more pig feet either. I'm done. Oh, you finished all your food. I was hungry. <laughs> I was so hungry. You want some of mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good though. Mmm. It was really good. And most of you guys' favorite artists, I don't even know who the hell they are. Me? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like when you name somebody? Yeah, you do. Who? Especially now because of Donda. Well, yeah, but I really don't know them. I know them because of that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. They're not bad. Like, they have a not a new artist, but I'm from that that Biggie, Nas, you know. Um, DMX. DMX. Oh, definitely DMX. Rest in peace. Busta Rhymes era. What? Busta Rhymes was that popping? What? Of course, I know who Busta is. Of course, I love Busta Rhymes. You but see I how mean, the like, kids are disrespectful. But, <laughs> but I thought I, I the only reason I really know who Busta Rhymes is is because that one verse he had on that Chris Brown song. What? Before it was a Chris Brown. Before Chris Brown was born. Okay, because <laughs> you know that one. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, he goes crazy. And... You don't know Touch It. Mm -hmm. Touch It, Bring It, Big. Oh, I do know that song. Yeah, that's him. Um. Oh, I just don't know the names. If you really want to party with me, you don't know that song. Put your Buster was the man. Like, wow. Um, he was really famous for his um, his videos used to be out of the world, mm -hmm. like weird and all that stuff. That reminds me of like Eminem because Eminem has weird videos. Yeah, because Eminem, he can tap. Like that's why Drake is so popular because he taps into what's popping now. Y'all don't know what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Too. But the kitten is losing her mind. Like, all right, I think I'm almost done eating. That was really good. Mm, I'm done eating. So don't come for me because I'm about to use my napkin. I'm going to eat your mac and cheese. Go ahead. You can eat my mac and cheese. Okay, so I've also thought of another question that would be pretty cool. Oh, wait, I use my... What? I use my napkin because I thought I'd be done. That's okay, you're done. You, listen, I don't care who say what, you pass the damn power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with my babies. <laughs> mm -mm, you pass the challenge, you're done. Because you were done, you mm -hmm. finished all your food. Another question I thought would be good for you to answer is, before we leave, um, name five things that you feel they don't know about me. Mm. Or five things that they would be surprised to know. I got a couple. And they literally could be anything. It could be funny. It could be not. Um, I don't know if they know, but you're a fairly sensitive person. Oh, my God. In a good way. No, but like, that's true. You, you are very No, sensitive. they don't know that. Mm -hmm. I am very sensitive. Damn, how do you know that? that best. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I can name multiple reasons <laughs> why. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, but I don't mean sensitive. Like, okay, wait. Like, you three things. I mean? Okay, let's do it like this. Three things I am that you think they don't know, and three things you want for me. So one of them is I'm sensitive. Those are one of the three that. What do you mean by want for you? Want for me could be anything. No, one I'm sensitive. I am sensitive, but I'll don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. I'm, <laughs> I'll fight you. Say that. <laughs> I'm I'm doing well in my older years. That's but, the same thing with me. But though. I am very sensitive. Um, I take things very. I I hear everything, and I and I do. I take. I listen to what people have to say, and it, it matters to me. If I care about you, especially. Okay, I name another thing you think they don't know about me. Um, we were just talking about this. You do not eat that much. I don't eat that much. That is crazy. Like, <laughs> I try to tell them, like, I know I'm a mukbang channel, which I love because mukbangs have almost, like, and I'm not exaggerating, like, saved my life watching them. So when I decided to do them, you know, I make everything look beautiful. Nothing goes to waste. But I eat kind of very healthy, like veggies and meat. You guys know I eat healthy, but I don't eat a lot. So, like, I'll have dinner tonight. Cause I'm gonna make dinner. I think I'm making salmon and asparagus, which he hates asparagus, but but and I love it. But I would only have like a small piece of salmon and asparagus because I ate this today. I don't eat a lot, that's true. Okay, two sensitive, I don't eat a lot. Third mm -hmm. thing. I was gonna play the gay card, but there we go. <laughs> they don't get <laughs> I try it out every five minutes. I know that. That's why that's just like, <laughs> There's no point in saying it. Out and proud, baby. Out and proud. Happy pride. You're very in tune with You're really wise for your age, if that makes sense. Oh. By in tune, I mean like, like. Obviously, you're you're not that young, but you're young. I'm I young. Not mean young. <laughs> I, not, I am no, young, no, no, young. I, I, I am I, that young. I meant that it was supposed to be reversed. <laughs> that is it was so supposed funny. to be like, uh, well, you're I not. I get what you mean. Not that, you know, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. But like, you're up there for like, like. You know, grandma material. Not. Mm -hmm. grandma I get what you material, mean, like mentally. Like, yeah, exactly. Mentally, mentally, I, I, I'm not like foolish, and I don't do things. But I, I have a good time, and I'm, I'm 38, but I know a lot, and I, and I speak a lot to my son when it comes to. But well, that comes from, I'm um, coming from a good household, and wanted to pass on what I learned. You know what I mean? Because there's one thing, my son is not for the streets. He's intelligent and stuff like that, and. For the streets. Yeah, because some niggas is out there for the streets. <laughs> no. And I like to um, tell him things that I'm feeling and be honest with him about certain things. You want, can you do it for me also? Yeah. The, the, the other okay, so I'm going to do um, three things you guys don't know about him or three things about... I just want to know what you're going to say. <laughs> what you're going to say. Um, one thing about my son is that he's very loyal. I see him with his friends. Anybody watching this, I'm loyal. <laughs> I don't even got to worry about that. He's very loyal. Um, <clears throat> He loves his friends so full. And... um. I hope that never gets the best of him, but he is very loyal. Another thing I noticed about Sean is he don't like to get nobody in trouble. Um, it could be things that I obviously wow, that know. Is, <laughs> that is a very... And I'm like, you totally didn't do that. And he's like, like he can keep a secret. He can keep a secret. And um, he's really funny. Really? Like, super funny. Like, um, can make really tears come out your eyes. Really Nigga, really please. <laughs> 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 okay, so... Three things you want from me, and then I'll do three want things. from you? For you. For me. For you. Um, sounds weird, but I always picture you on an island somewhere. Oh, really? Sipping, I don't know, whatever your little drink is. Andre. <laughs> I don't want to say <laughs> I it, can't man. drink nothing but Andre. <laughs> I don't have no tolerance, y'all. I cannot. I'm not a drinker. But, like, I want to see you make it to the point where, like, you can be on an island somewhere. Just chill. Out of a coconut. Just chill. <laughs> like, I, I can, I picture you there. I'm gonna be there. I don't I'm know how it's gonna be, yeah. but I'm gonna be there for, mm -hmm. for whatever reason. That's cool. I want you to find. Um, hmm. I know what you're gonna say. I don't think you do. I was gonna say the obvious, like you know, find love. You know what I mean? But I, I mean, I mean more peace. If yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because everyone says they're in a good place, but you know, there's always something you can correct. Yeah. I was learning about that today. A lot of peace, um, and I haven't. Um, I hadn't had some for a little while. And so, um, finding peace would be really, I mean, I'm working on it. And finding love would be really good too. Cause, cause. 
Are you gonna find some love? I know. I just gotta let them in. Yeah. You know. I that's wanna, the okay. I that's a, that's a mess. I changed the um <laughs> one of the three things that you guys don't know. It's definitely the, <laughs> the fact that you don't let nobody in. No. Nobody to like. Nobody gets in. Hold you down for a little bit. No, I was in a relationship for a really long time, and um, to my son at one point he told me like it was like you were married. So not only um did it hurt me, it hurt him, and um so. Yeah, I won't let anybody in. It's really funny that I even went to Texas. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have done that. But <clears throat> when you feel comfortable with people and um, I don't know, you feel like family, it's it's so much easier. Right. Shout out to yeah. Mo. Hey, hey, bitch. Shout out to Mo. That is the best. That's the most people I let in. <coughs> whoa, whoa. <coughs> Coronavirus. I'm putting the meme in there. <coughs> oh, Coronavirus. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I'm putting it right in there. Coke is for about sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't have me trying to sponsor. Just fix yourself. Up. <laughs> I choked a little bit. All right. Mm. Three things I want for you, and I know them for sure. I already know one. You think you do? I think I do. Mm. I want you to um, make sure, and I mean this, and in our household, I freaking mean it. I say it on camera, off camera. That is how I was raised, and I'm very serious about it. I want him to always be able to keep God in his heart. It's, like, super important. I'm, like, always reminding him, you said your prayers. You said. God has brought me a lot of peace, and even though I'm not a preacher, you know, I don't preach that well, but um, this household is godly, at least me and Sean. Like, it's very serious. It's very, very serious to us. So I want him to always keep God in his heart. I just feel like... Whoever you believe in, whatever name that is, when you do, you always feel like they're looking at you. So you're not always worried about what everybody else feel, but you there's a conscience there that really kicks in, and I, and I want that for him. Um, real quick, one thing I did learn from you is like, um, even though you you know you asked me to pray and stuff, mm -hmm. I know I don't have to like, I don't have to be a generic like believer in god in the sense where i'm always on my knees yeah and i'm always reading the bible because i i like you said whether i'm praying or not i always have some mm -hmm. sort of conscious and yeah that's how i was raised <clears throat> so when things happen or even when things don't happen yeah. when i'm living when i'm just, just being happy exactly yeah I teach him that you know we're christian but i'm a different kind of christian obviously i'm gay um i believe in a lot of other things as well so i believe in um god and jesus as our savior but at the same time i um I understand that there's life. I understand he's human. I don't want to pressure him to do certain things. I th he needs to always come to things on his own. And I think I'm glad that just seeing your family pray and things like that, it keeps it in your mind. So I don't usually badger him to do certain things. I want him to um, graduate high school. I know, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> and make sure um, to do the best in his life. That's the only way you can get started off. Um, you know, having children, it don't come with a uh, rule book. So sometimes as parents, you don't know. But I don't really put big expectations on my kid. I just tell him what he's good at. And Sean is good at drawing. He's good at doing music. He's good at making beats. He's good at being a good person. These are things that I care about with Sean. It's his, um, his insights. And the third thing I want. I want you to be married to a baddie. Oh, okay. so wow. Happy. I was not expecting that. And by baddie, I don't care what kind of baddie it is. <laughs> <clears throat> Male, female, I don't care. Up, down, around the corner. I just want you to be. <laughs> that was not called for. What? That was so out of pocket. Around, <laughs> around the corner. I don't care. I just want you um, to have such a good life and um, live well, 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 well beyond me. Like, I mm -hmm. definitely have to go first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to. Because if I don't, boy, I'm going down in there. <laughs> I cannot. Are you crying? No, I was laughing, mom. <laughs> Come on. He's crying. I'm not crying, G. <laughs> you crying, <No>. G. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not, you're not. <laughs> All right, guys. I had a good time. Tams, thank you so much for doing this um, challenge. Not only did we get to eat with our hands, um, I got to spend some time with my kid. And if you have a 17-year-old, I have a good one. But if you um, know what 17-year-olds is like, that's hard to get some free time with them. It really is. Um, 
but I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. And uh, we congratulate you again, Tams. Congrats on 9K. <clears throat> and um, that's super That's super big for you. Too, I know. Man. I know. That's what? super huge. I can't get past like 100. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't get past 100. Where your mama is, though. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, until we eat, vlog, cook, chop it up, hang with Sean again. Um, later.